For children, we might disobey our parents and suffer the punishment. For parents, we might earn enough money but to put it in a bag with holes. Church. Our, our reading will come from the book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 1 to 10. My name is Jerry Kamal. I, I am born again and I love Christ Jesus as my personal Savior. If you are there with me, let us read. In the second year of King Darius, on the first day of the sixth month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, son of Josadak, the high priest. This is what the Lord Almighty says. These people say, the time has not yet come to rebuild the Lord's house. Then the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Is it a time for, you, for yourselves to be living in your paneled houses while, my, while this house remains a ruin? Now this is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. You have planted much, but harvested little. You eat, but never have enough. You drink, but never have your fill. You put on your clothes, but are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in a purse with the holes in it. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thoughts to your ways. Go up into the mountains and bring tim and bring down timber and build my house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You expected much, but see, it turned out to be little. What you brought home, I blew away. Why, declares the Lord Almighty, because of my house which remains a ruin, while each of you is busy with your own house. Therefore, because of you, the heavens have withheld their dew and the earth its crops. Thank you. Praise God, Judge. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. My name is Ren, and our, uh, and our reading today will come from the book of Zachariah, chapter 1, verse 1 to 6. It says, In the eighth month of the of the second year of Judas, the word, the word of the Lord came to, to the prophet Zachariah, son of Berechiah, the son of Edu. The Lord was very angry with his with with your ancestors therefore tell tell the people this is what the lord almighty says Re return return to me declare declares the lord, the lord almighty and i will return to you says the lord almighty don't you be like your ancestor to whom the evil prophet proclaimed this is what the lord almighty says Re Turn, turn from your evil ways and your evil practices, but they will not listen or pay attention to me, Declare, declares the Lord. Where, where are your ancestors now and the prophets now? And the prophets, do they live forever? But did not my words and my, and my, decle my decrees, and which I commanded my servants and prophets, Servants, the prophets overtake the, your ancestors. Then, then they re repent and said, "The Lord Almighty has done, has done to us what our ways and practices deserve, just as He demanded to do." Thank you. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. The everlasting Father, thank you for this day that you have given us. We thank you for the someone that you have prepared for us, mighty Father. Please protect us as we go through it, mighty Father. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Today our topic is returning back to God. Let me, our family had three children. 
two girls and one boy. The boy was the eldest. He was always given work by his parents, but he forced his siblings to do the work. One day, his parents told him to wash the utensils. He refused and forced his sisters, but, their, but his sisters refused. So he decided that he's going to run away. He ran away and went to the streets. He begged for money, but nobody gave him. He stayed for weeks and days without food. One day he realized that he has, stay, he has never gone back home. So he got up and went back home. When he went back home, his parents were happy to see him. And he promised himself that he will always obey his parents. Today, our sit-up is going to be, I will always keep my eyes on Jesus. On Jesus. Always keep my eyes on Jesus. The consequences for not obeying God are like we might so much and harvest little. We might have enough food to eat, but not enough to our fill. We have a much wine to drink, but not enough to make you full. You have enough clothing, but not enough to keep you warm. You have enough money only to put it in a bag full of holes. These consequences have happened because we have disobeyed God in many ways. For children, we might disobey our parents and suffer the punishment. For parents, we might earn enough money but to put it in a bag with holes. Zechariah was calling the Jews to repent and return to God and remind them of God's future promises and blessings. When we remember that God always keeps his promise, promises, we can find encouragement in difficult situations. For us today as Christians, what are the things we do that make God unhappy? Here are the benefits of obeying God in Deuteronomy 28, verse 12 to 13. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from, na from none. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God, I will give you this day and carefully follow them. Then... You will always be at the top and never the bottom. In Deuteronomy, it says that if we obey, God will make us the head and not the tail. But if we disobey, he will make us suffer. These are the consequences that God is telling us from the book of Deuteronomy. Thank you. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear everlasting Father, we come before you thanksgiving in our hearts, saying thank for this someone that you have given us, mighty Father. Mighty Father, may you help us and guide us through this week, mighty Father. Mighty Father, may we turn back to you, mighty Father, and obey your ways, mighty Father. Mighty Father, may you protect those people who are who cannot be able to afford the things, mighty Father. Mighty Father, may they be able to... Be obedient, mighty Father, and have what they have desired, mighty Father. Mighty Father, protect us this day, mighty Father. And in just name I pray, amen. Amen. And in that mood of prayer, you cannot be able to obey God without having Jesus in your heart. Would you like to accept Jesus Christ in your heart today? Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I repent all my sins. I repent all my sins. And I submit myself to you. And I submit myself to Make you. Make me your child. Make me your child. And from today. And from today. Let me obey your word. Let me obey your word. I am your child. I am your child. You are my daddy. You my, my daddy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for somebody. 
who may be undergoing hard life, hard situation in life, and you are trying to pray, it is not going through. Would you like some a push from the uh, from the minister now? You can raise your hand. We'll push together with the church members. Raise up your hand, and we are going to pray with you. Just raise up your hand wherever you are. We are going to push to pray until something happens. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, see those hands that have been lifted up. They are crying. They are waiting. They are yearning for your help. Oh Lord, I pray from this place that God through your name that is greater than any other name, you may shed your power to them. You may open their doors. You may give them a direction so that, Lord, they can be able to see and meet the desires of their hearts. We pray for your goodness to rest upon the whole congregation and your mercies may be with them forever. Thank you, Lord, for the good service. And we pray for special blessings upon these servants of you as Wajiro. We pray that your favor may rest upon her. So that the talent you have given her, the confidence you have given her, it will work for positively for her. We pray for her parents. We pray for those who help her in one way or the other in life, that God all may work together for good. We put her in a good acceleration line that her life will not be doomed, but she will be a some, a somebody in, even in future. She will be able to speak your word here in Kikuyu, here in Rogeri, here in Kenya, and also outside the country, because your blessings rest upon her. We praise you, we worship you. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now, we take this opportunity to finish the service. And appreciate each and every one of us who have made this service a success. We start with our Reverend, Reverend Adfax. Mawira. <laughs> Makofi. We also thank the session of this parish, Makofi. And once again, we thank the parents and the teachers for the good work, Makofi. And also we thank God for the children who have done a fantastic job, Makovi. And also the CAC TV Kenya for broadcasting this program to you. We also give you thanks. God bless you. And until we meet next Sunday, same time, same moment, Sabili Mpakasatatu, may God bless you and keep you. To Fungwe Mikono, we receive the benediction. And may now God who loves you and cares for you, bless you and keep you. Lift his face upon you. Show his light upon you. And may the favor of God be with you, remain with you and go with you now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. amen.